Now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, good evening, everyone. We are starting to see rainfall across Maryland and at times getting heavy. I mean, you can see out in Westminster, we have a little bit of some rain out on our cameras earlier. There were people playing lacrosse. Looks like people have started to leave because we are getting ready for winter weather and also the temperatures are falling. Winter weather advisories in effect for all the counties in purple that extends from Cecil County all the way to Western Maryland winter storm warnings out in pink to our north. That's likely where we see the best chance of accumulating snow, but still a chance here in our neck of the woods. Temperatures are also falling 46 the inner harbor 46 in Columbia 48 in Annapolis 46 out in Westminster and like I mentioned those temperatures are falling rain showers also starting to pop up. Look within even the past two hours we're starting to see more widespread showers across the map and even into the eastern shore. It's all due to this system well off to our south that's bringing lots of moisture to the Carolinas and even the Ohio Valley that will eventually move into our area and interact with some very cold air and that will see of course the perfect storm of our system and it's going to increase wind gusts as well. I mean tomorrow we can see gusts almost up to 30 miles per hour for most of the day as the system moves on through and I'll show you what we're looking at on future temperatures and radar tonight. You see that rain chance just hanging around. Can't even rule out an isolated rumble of thunder. It's the morning hours. I think between five six that we see that changeover. Temperatures are going to be at or near freezing and you know if we see snow early it'll cool things down, but if we see it later that's best chance scenario. But look by about 11 o'clock it's almost all gone. It's going to be a very quick hitting system, and if it does put down accumulating snow, it's going to be in that morning time frame. So when you're headed to work or school, plan some extra time. If you don't have any delays or cancellations yet, or make sure you stay up to date with the latest ones. We see temperatures by about 45 later in the afternoon, so some of it might start to really just melt all away overnight back near freezing. So we could see some isolated slick spots if there's any untreated areas on the roads. Wednesday also looking to be at least on the quieter side, but we do see the winds pick up, so at times it's going to feel a bit chillier out there. And here's a look at some snowfall totals. I will say right now we're looking at the lower end of things, but I couldn't be wouldn't be surprised if someone, especially near the state line, sees an isolated heavier amount. I mean, it's 95 where things are going to be on the messier side and where they always are. And you can see that on the seven day forecast, even tracking another chance of rain over the weekend.